How do you stay motivated for the long haul? Question I got in my inbox today, and I want to address it. And this really goes to the core of why I've changed my training and stuff up. By the way, if you need to, go ahead and get the free audiobook. It's going to be there, there. It's going to be around here somewhere, but go ahead and get it. And also join Hustle University. Now let's get into this. Part of the problem is when you are trying to do something, start a business, and you become disenfranchised or you become tired of it or overwhelmed within six months to a year, number one thing is that's not the business you should have been in to begin with, usually. Number two, you started that business for reasons that didn't have really good fuel. And my uh, you know, audio book course that's coming up to 50 Laws of Hustling, I'll talk about that. Don't use hate, anger, jealousy, envy, or any of these low-level emotions as motivation for you to start your business. Like I hear people like, hey, I did this to show mom, dad, ex-wife, ex-husband, blah, blah, blah. I'm better than that. The reality is you started a project on gasoline that had water, sugar, and other contaminants in it. And that's why when it started really, really getting rough, you start, <laughs> your engine started choking. Next thing you know, it stopped. You were out the game. You were done. It was over because the fuel that you used to motivate you to start that business, that workout program, that relationship, whatever, was not good, clean fuel. There's this thing called the big life. There's this, you know, if your goal doesn't fucking scare you, you're doing it wrong. If your goal is like, yeah, I could do that, and you're cool and calm, it's not big enough. <laughs> it's not big enough. So you gotta have like a really, really big goal. And this is one of the reasons that I recommend for my people in my tribe to leave eBay, to leave Amazon, because you can't have these huge goals with those systems because when you really start to grow, and this is something I checked, I went back last year and looked for a lot of the people on eBay that I used to follow, that I used to emulate because they were big businesses, they're all gone. So if the thing with eBay was scalable, why, are they, why, are they not there, why aren't they there anymore? All the folks that I watch, I'm quite sure there's some people that's like, yeah, I've been there since 1997, sonny. But they're only part time. But the whole deal is, once you get to your big thing, eBay and Amazon are not going to be able to contain you. You know, if you got a company and you're putting off dead stock or stuff that, you know, you, you're just using it to liquidate dead stock, old stock, cheap stock, or you've changed your product line, that's one difference. But if you're using eBay and Amazon as your main product line distribution system and your main source of income, you could have some problems in the future. But if you're running out of fuel and you are quickly, quickly getting tired or overwhelmed or you feel that you're working so freaking hard for so little, you're in the wrong business, or you're doing it wrong, or you started it. There's, there's different variables that will come up to this. But essentially, if you are having that issue that you burned out real quick or you went up and you came down, motivation was wrong, your big goal didn't exist, and that's one of the reasons that it's so hard to keep going. Because I was listening to some really inf great information that most businesses don't make it to their fifth year. And then of the ones who make it for the fifth year, by the time of their 10th year, they're gone. I am year five. <laughs> and I'm, I'm planning for year 15. And I'm planning for year 20. Because I have big goals. And let's talk about that. Uh, also, I'm introducing a new course. <clears throat> It'll be right down there. The Power of Six a Productivity Course. And one of the things you got to understand, success takes time. I don't know how many people, hey, I got laid off, I need to make five, six, 10 Gs within six months to replace my current income. If it was that easy, you would have did it already. It's hard, it takes time, it takes dedication. And I've said it before, even with the storage auction game, you know, being successful in storage auctions, it was a marathon, I always said it. 
I was buying killer units and I was still buying shit units. I was still getting dollar units, $10 units, clean out units. Clean out units is like when no one's looking, you look to the left, you look to the right, and everyone walked away from that unit and you go up to the mansion and you go, Psst, you give me 30 days, I'll clean that shit out for you. I was still doing that. And some of those units turned out to be amazing winners. Most of them turned out just to be shit. But once again, that's a very important point that I'm putting to you. If you cannot develop the mental toughness to realize that 99.99% of the stuff is not going to be a home run, it's not going to be super sweet, you know, you, you will be, get the ability to do the long haul. But if you are like up, hey, I'm doing this, it's going to be this, I'm going to make all this money, and then when it doesn't, you're like morbidly depressed, you're... <sighs> Maybe God doesn't want me to have this. Maybe my mama was right. Blah, 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 blah. Weak ass, weak ass, weak ass. Essentially, your expectations of being successful are totally out of line with your abilities and knowledge base currently. As your knowledge base increases, as your abilities increase, the rate that you will be successful also increases. But if you are a raw nugget of passion, expect some fuck ups, some slip ups, and time time you know when i compare and contrast this business to my storage auction business from a financial standpoint i am nowhere even close to where i was with the storage auction business however in keeping with this theme of the long haul i have a big vision and also i did my research in this game you could write one book and retire but frequently it happens with some people well not frequently actually that's wrong some people that happens their first book, their household name, more money than they could ever spend, and they're good. For the rest of us writers, it usually is book five or book 10 or book 20 or book 30, or it's never one book. It's just like, bam, you got 40 books out there and money's just coming in. So I'm going with putting as many books out there as possible, once again, which I got from the storage auction business, buy a lot of units work hard and the more units that i bought the luckier i got the more books that i write the more courses i put out the luckier i will become you see the common theme time effort and a stable mindset of hey if i put something out and people go we don't like that okay on to the next one that's the attitude you must develop but if you're just like pinning all of your hopes and dreams on this one thing and you really don't know what you're getting into you are not only boo boo the fool you're boo boo the fool's mother daddy grandfather and grandmother you're the whole family tree so for you to stay for the long haul you have to realize that number one follow your determination which was said by mark cuban i love that quote Fuck passion. Everyone's going to like, oh, no, you know my passion, my passion, my passion. Ooh, passion. Passion will run out in a matter of days, weeks, and months. Determination could go on for decades. So follow your determination, work hard, and create your big life goal. My thing is to serve about 100,000 people. That's, that's the goal. And you know what? I'm also from sales training. If, say, I do something and I hit that, the next thing is like, bam, we hit 100,000. We need to crank it to 200,000. I will immediately set that new goal. And that's what keeps me going on because I didn't know that this storage auction thing was going to matriculate into this. I had no clue. I was just like, I'm going to write the storage auction book, get a little cash, get a little publishing deal. Then I'm going to sit down and write the great American novel. I am so glad that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm so glad that didn't happen. This is way more fun, way more interesting, and more importantly, it's more sustainable. Sustainability. This is long haul stuff. This is things I can do a very long time. This is on and on and on and on because I am the tortoise. You know, if you know the old story of the tortoise and the hare, steady and consistent, steady and consistent. Now, I'm not going fast, but I'm going forward. All right, so if you like that, be sure, once again, to get your free audiobook. Also, join Hustlers University, and there's a deal right there for you. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side.